coronavirus outbreak is affecting those in the trucking industry as well. KTAB's Danica Hill spoke with drivers at one local truck stop about just how their jobs have changed. It's rush now. I mean, I, the, 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 the industry can't keep up with it. For truck drivers like Michael Tinsley, who deliver food, their workload has increased because of the coronavirus. We can only run so much a day. And then we got shut down for 10 hours and then we start again. But it's crazy now the government suspended suspended that whole law thing, with, you know, which is which is pretty much uh, like DOT regulations. We can run the way we want to run and, and just to get the products to the store. Other drivers like Rick Davis say they're concerned about finding somewhere to stop with so many places shutting down. We're really catching it kind of hard out here, though, with us because, you know, this is... A lot of these guys will stay out here a week, two weeks at a time, and it's hard to find a decent place to eat, you know. And now with the parking and just it's really getting crazy out here as far as we're concerned. I've talked to several drivers out here at the Flying J and Ty. Several of them tell me they're just doing their part to keep things going. Others say they really haven't been impacted. And then there's some that say this has caused their jobs to come to a complete halt. All I do is military moves, so they're shutting down all military moves until further notice or at least till May the 15th. Robert Cruz telling me today was his last delivery. Now he's headed home. Once I get down, I'll, down to El Paso, then I'll be, I'll park the truck and I'll, I'll be done for two months, at least minimum two months. Whether drivers are forced to put on the brakes or keep trucking, Davis says. Just keep the faith, you know, we're a good, we're best country in the world, so we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get a grip on it. In tie with coverage you can count on, Danica Hill, KTAB News. Thanks, Danica. Now, some drivers say they've noticed truck stops across the nation wiping more things down, and they're offering hand sanitizers as well.